subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos hi friends this is mandeep and you are watching high technology tv in this video i will show you how to install s4 hana 1610 on suje 12 sp3 for sap so first of all we will talk about the list of file the software requirement and landscape we are using so here for the application server we are using 52 gb of ram with 4 v cpu and put 400 gb of sdd and swap size is 100 gb and we are using suje enterprise server 12 sp3 for sap and these are the software required that is swpm as for hana installation export hana client sap car and kernel and these are their versions and these are the path from where we can download them so let's talk about the database server for the database server we are also using suje enterprise server 12 sp3 for sap and ram is 52 gb vcpu is also 4 and hdd is for our database server is 500 gb and swap size is 50 gb and you can download the hana server here i'm using hana to sps 03 rav 30 or later and path for that is this so first of all we have to download these softwares and this is our system configuration next thing is that we have to mount all the mount point and transfer the relevant installer to our relevant servers like for s4 hana server application server we have to transfer these software to our application server and for the database server we have to transfer this particular hana server software to our database server so friends let's begin with the installation so this is our servers s4 hana is our application server and this one is our with hostname hana is our database server so let me show you the mount point and here you can check that we have a mount point with name sap mnt and its size is approximate 500 gb let's talk about the database server mount point and here you can check that we have a mount point with name slash hana and size for that is also approximate 500 gb so friend let's begin with the installation first we are going to install our database server so let's begin with that let's go to the okay right now we are into han into our hana directory so let's do a ls here and here we have a folder with name hana to sps03 which consists our installer so let's go into there and now move to data units hdb underscore server now list all the file and here you are able to see that we have multiple files we can use to install like sdb lcm sdb lcm gui and sdb lcm rav here i am going to use sdb lcm gui that will install our hana database server with graphical user interface so let's execute it okay this will open a pop up window that is of sap hana life cycle management and these are the detected software component component by our sdb lcm gui so let's click on the next and here we are going to install a new system and here 
I am going to install the additional component for the installation is only install SAP HANA database client and this is the version it is going to install HANA database client and our HANA database server so let's click on next and here I am going to install HANA host single host system so click on next and this is our local host name and this is our installation path and here we have to define the SAP HANA system ID so in my case I am giving it DAM and this is our instance number by default it is 00, zero. you can change it but I am leaving it default and this is local host worker group is default and system usage is custom like if you want to use it as production server you can use it from here but in my case it is for testing so I am leaving it custom and just clicking on next this is the data volume location and this is the log volume location if you want to change them you can change it from here but I am leaving them default click next this is the source host name and this is the certificate source name just click on next Now we have to define the password for our SID ADM. Let's define a password. And this is our system administrator user ID and ID of group user group SAP Sys system administrator login cell. So click on next. Now define the system database user password. And click on next now we have to define the password for SAP ADM and click on next and this is the summary of our installation you can check all the detail here and if you want to change it just click on the previous button but in my case it looked good so I'm just clicking on next and it will start our installation. So our installation is straightforward and I'm fast forwarding it. Okay friends, so as you can see that our installation of SAP HANA database is successful. If you want to check the log, you can check here. But uh, everything is installed, so I am not checking that. I am just clicking on finish. Okay, now you can check the status of your HANA database by logging into SU space iPhone DAM ADM. That is our SID ADM. Here you can check that all our HANA database services are up and running. If you want to stop it, you can stop it by using the command stb space stop and you can start it by stb space start. You can 
use it this command you check the status and the start and stop your hana database okay friends so our hana database installation part is done now get back to our s4 hana system and now start with our s4 hana so first of all let's check the status of just a second okay here we have to do the entry of our both the machines in our hosts file so let's do that for that use the command win space etc space hosts and now go to the insert mode and here we have to provide the ip then host name as for hana then fully qualified domain name as for hana dot high technology dot in and now we have to provide the fully qualified domain name and all that for our hana database system this is our hana database system ip host name and host name again so let's copy them now we have to do these on our hana database server also so let's switch to root go to the insert mode okay so now save it okay done so let's start with the installation let's do it here so first of all let's switch to the swpm directory that is swpm dual ls here and here we have a file name with sap inst we have to execute this so let's execute this and hit enter Okay, so this is the URL which we are going to use to install our to start our SWPM. So let's open the browser. Is the URL here? and hit enter and now it is going to ask us uh, the root Username and password for the root. Okay, so this is our software provisioning manager. 
and here we are going to install SAP S4 HANA 1610 so expand it and now go to SAP S4 HANA server and here you can check that SAP HANA database And on the installation, expand application server back and now expand standard system. Now click standard system and click on next. So the first phase is define parameter. We have to define all the parameters for our installation. And here we have to choose the parameter mode. So I'm going to select custom here. Select custom and then click on next. And now it is asking for SAP system ID and our SAP mount directory. So in my case, uh, I'm providing it S4, S4, H. This is our SAP system ID and this is our SAP mount directory. If you want to change it, you can change it by clicking on browse. So just click on next. And here it is asking for fully qualified domain name. And in our case, that is high technology. Dot in that we have defined in our post file. So now click on next. Now it is asking for the master password. So define a master password. And click on next. Now it is asking for the S4 ADM password, user ID, group of ID of SAP Sys and home directory and login cell and all that. So by default it is the master password. If you want to change it, you can change it here. But I am keeping it as our master password and just clicking on next. Here it is asking for the database host so we have to provide it here hana that is our database host name and 00 is our instance number and database sid is dam and here it is asking for the password for our database system database user so we have to define that And now click on next. And 
it fetch all the detail of our HANA database server and uh, system database name is system db as you can check here that by default it is disabled so here it is asking for the system database user password that we have defined while we are installing our sap hana database so we have to define it here that is the password we have used and we have provided during the sap hana database installation we have to enter it here that uh, that is used to communicate now it is asking for the packages and that are sap exe igs igs helper sap exe db and all that so click on browse And now we have to expand database independent and now select sapexe.sar file and click OK. Now scroll down a bit and click on next. and here you can check that now status is available by this way we have to define all the location all the package location so just click on browse and define all four then Now click on OK. So here you can check that uh, that we have a problem with the IGS EXE. So what we need to do is that our IGS EXE did not match the requirement for the installation. And here you can check that I have downloaded this particular IGS EXE version. So we have to select this and click OK. And now click on next. And now you can check here that now it is available. So we have to download this particular IGSEXE. Now Browse IGS helper. and click on next
Now go to STB and here select SAP EXE DB dot SAR file. and click on next and here you can check that we have defined all the package location and status is available so just click on next So now it is asking for SAP host agent.sar file. So click on browse. and select sap host agent dot sar file click ok now click next and here you can check that now status is available so just click on next And here it is asking for the SAP ADM password by default it is master password so I am leaving it default and clicking on next so here it is asking for install live SAP live catch up or SAP system that I am not going to install so I am unchecking it and click on next and here it is asking for client path strategy so by default it is local so I'm going with default and clicking on next Now it is asking for HDB RDBMS HANA client path so just click on browse and go to SAP MNT and now select the HANA client. Select label.asc and click OK and now click on next so now it is asking for the installation export uh, one for S S4 HANA 1610 so just click on browse expand SAP MNT and I'm choosing the label.ac file and clicking on next ok now click on next
okay so now it is uh, enter the database parameter for sap for your system database so these are the parameter that is fast as we provided it earlier so here you can check that tenant id is damn so in my case we are not going to change any of these parameter so let's click on next and this is our schema that is dba cockpit and schema password is our default one so just click on next and this is our schema that is sap abap one and if you want to change it you can change it but i am not changing it and schema password is also our default one and if you want to drop the existing schema you can check this but i am not checking it and just clicking on next so this is our sap hana import parameters so here i'm not changing them and just clicking on next and here uh, it is asking for that you can enable a bad table declustering depooling of your sap system so by default it is checked so i'm just clicking on next and here it is asking for table placement parameter and i'm not uh, changing it and by default it is do not use a parameter file and just clicking on next and here it is asking for sap code page that is by default 4103 and number of parallel job is 12 so let's click on next here i'm not changing that and here it is asking for the primary application server instance and the BAP central services instance so our pass instance number is 00 and pass instance host is s4 hana and our ABAP central services instance is 01 and host name is also s4 hana so if we do have any instance for our sap hana instance here that will be so here so right now we do not have any instance so just click on next here and this is a map message server port and internal a map message server port just click on next and now it is asking for the icm user management for sap web dispatcher and password for that is by default master password if you want to change it you can change but i'm leaving it default and clicking on next and here it is asking for the sld destination for sap system os level so here i am not configuring and registering system landscape directory so i have selected no sld destination and just clicking on next and here it is for master messy server access control list by default it is selected do not create messy server access control list so click on next
so this is for additional component to be included in scs instance so right now i'm not selecting any one of them and just click on next and here it is asking for secure storage key generation so i'm going to choose the default key and clicking on next and here it is asking for cleanup of operating system users so i'm not selecting it and just clicking on next and here you can review all the parameter you have defined and if you want to change you can just select the particular uh, parameter checkbox and you can change that but i am not changing any of the parameter here scroll yeah. down to the end and just click on next and now it start executing our services and you can check the task list here that right now what it is going and what is the step here you can check all the detail here so friend it is going to take approximate several hours so i am fast forwarding the video and if i got any area error i will show you guys and i will show you how to resolve that so keep watching
ओके फ्रेंड्स सो एज यू कैन सी दैट और एस ए पी एस फोर हाना वन सिक्स वन जीरो स्टैंडर्ड सिस्टम इज इंस्टॉल्ड सक्सेसफुली सो नाउ क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड दिस इज द फीडबैक विंडो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड द फीडबैक यू कैन प्रोवाइड इट ये बट आई एम जस्ट क्लोजिंग इट एंड नाउ क्लिक ऑन एग्जिट बटन okay so now let's log into our sap s4 hana system so this is our sap logon here let's create a new entry and here let me check that IP of our system is 10.142.0.5. So let's create one entry here. Click on new item. Now click on next. and on the description s4 hana 1610 and application server is 10.142.0.5 instance is 00 and our system id is s4h now click on next and just click on finish button and now let's log in okay so here we are going to log in with ddic user and password for that is our master password Okay, so this is a pop-up window, and here it is showing that our SAP username is DDIC, and last system login is today date, and license expires on this particular date. So let's click on continue. Okay, so now we are logging to our system. So let's check the system details here. Go to more systems, and then click on status. Okay, and here you can check that our product version is SAP S four Hana one six one zero. Here it is. And operating system is Linux, and our database system is HDB. That is Hana database system, and release is this, and our database ID is dem, and instance number is zero zero. Host name is Hana, and this is our schema, and user is also this. So this is the system details. So okay friend by this way we can install SAP S4 HANA 1610 thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel have a nice day